when I say the entity responsible for the majority of deaths on our planet, the first thing that would come to your mind is a serial killer, maybe, or an animal. Well, you're totally wrong. It's actually a virus called bacteriophage, or phage for short. Now, let's switch to my whiteboard to explain this more, shall we? In 1915, the English bacteriologist Frederick William Twart discovered viruses that kill bacteria. Two years after that, they were named bacteriophages, which means bacteria eaters. You must know that they are probably everywhere living things exist. Millions are in your face, your intestines, or even your screen right now, which might make you nervous, but don't worry, because they only kill bacteria. Just like bacteria attacks people, these tiny viruses attack them. Phages have an extraordinary structure. Their head is a sort of dice with 20 faces and 30 edges, where their genes are stored. It often sits on a long tail that has leg-like fibers. These filaments attach the phage to the bacteria, and the tail works like a syringe to inject its genetic information into it. Inside the bacteria, phage viruses grow and multiply. Sometimes up to 5,000 viruses grow in a single cell. They only stop when the bacteria is filled up with brand new phages. The pressure is so high that the bacteria dies and releases the new phages. Then each one goes to find a new victim. There is a phage for each bacteria or its very close relatives. Now let's talk about its impacts on our future. Ever since they were discovered, antibiotics have shielded us from bacterial attacks, but as their use increased, bacteria got more resistant to antibiotics. Now studies show that there are more than 2 million people getting antibiotic-resistant infections and at least 23,000 people die from it. But guess what? There is one entity that could kill even the most resistant bacteria. I think you already know what I am talking about. But if we use bacteriophages to kill bacteria, won't bacteria develop ways of defending themselves? Well, the good news is that phages evolve too. There has been an enormous waste between them for billions of years. And so far, phages are doing great. So maybe injecting the deadliest beings on planet Earth into our bodies may save millions of lives.